task that I'm creating with my hips. So it's super important that I'm creating a stopping point out here, not to the side. I don't cross wrist roll to the side. I cross wrist roll 45 degrees. I want to be out here if I can. That's why we did that little high leg drill. So I slide, I dig. I'm thinking about my right foot coming on the left side, way up here. Okay, so when I pull his wrist to my hip, I'm pulling him right to the stopping point. Notice I didn't have to adjust at all. Now, here's a crucial, crucial detail. The hand is hooking or driving on the elbow. And the reason why I like hooking is because when I get here, I can pull everything tight. I want you to focus on the hand that has the elbow, that elbow touching your knee. Everybody see this detail? This is very important because when I have this elbow and that elbow touching his, my knee, it's tough for him to belly down. See how it keeps his hips open to the ceiling? Because of this detail, okay? If I'm here, and I didn't throw my head and elbow on the hole right, you might see the difference. Even if that bottom knee's up, and I might get a two count, but look at the difference in his hips, right? Look at the difference in his hips than when I have elbow to knee, okay? I got that small detail from AJ Shop. In my opinion, he's probably one of the best top wrestlers in probably the last 10, 15 years. All right, he was very innovative on top, but he turned everybody with this move. All right, Tony Robles was real good with it, and AJ Shop was way more innovative. All right, he turned Tony Ramos a couple times in the duel of the year. Tony Ramos won national title, and Ramos was no slouch on bottom. Shop would just get the wrist, and once he got the wrist, it was trouble. Okay, it was trouble. There's no reason why you guys can't be the same. You just got to spend time here, secure it to the butt, slide, head and elbow in the hole. Big high leg over the top. Over that stopping point, elbow to knee. And when I go elbow to knee, I'm almost sitting up crunching. He's not going anywhere. I can hold him for a minute. Okay? I can hold him for a minute. And then when he bellies down, when I'm ready for him too, we go right back to work. My boot might come in, and I go to work with my leg ride. Okay? And we got a lot of options there. So now we're going to put everything together. We're going to do our whole crab ride to set up this cross wrist roll. We're going to go right into our turn. Double thigh cry. Okay? I like going half. Float, float, float. High hand side kicking. Bottom toe trapping. Maybe I get my turn here. One, two, three, four, five. I got, I got three near fall. Look at this. How easy this is. Going right into my cross wrist. He's thinking about nothing but getting off his back and facing up. Oh, right into my next turn. Bottom knee to the ceiling. Scooting. Elevate. Knee to elbow, get another set of three. Okay, back on top, right back to work again. Feels real nice to score a lot of points on top. And this guy's really fighting on bottom, but everything he does is the wrong answer. That's what we want to try to get our mindset to the next couple days. Questions? So crab tilt, I don't care if it's half or claw, bottom wrist, scoop. As soon as he bases up, boom, right into your cross wrist. 